have your way in this place, Lord God. Come on, Holy Spirit. Never alone. You are never alone. He promised he'll never leave you alone. Even when you feel like he's not there, he is there. He is there. He is there. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to take this time right quick and say one more again. On behalf of our apostle and in the absence of our prophetess guy, we want to welcome you, welcome you, welcome you. Uh, we want you to know Jesus reigns in this place and reach out and touch and feel the love. Our overseer, apostle, and prophetess, Taylor, are in the house. Come on, give me some love for them. Come on, come on, come on. Love on them. Amen. We love you and the family that came with them. Hallelujah. We love you guys. Pastor Ayler, we love you. We love you. Pastor Armstead and Lady Armstead. We love, love y'all so much. And to everybody else, we love y'all too. We love y'all with an everlasting love. Amen? Amen. Now we moving on. This train is moving now. Memories. Mother Rush and Mother Minnie. Come on down. Come on and share some memories. Precious memories. Precious memories. Oh, yes. Precious memories. Praise God. I, I just want to say I thank God for this opportunity tonight to come and say a few words on behalf of my lovely friend here, Ella Mary Guy. I want you to know that I'm not a woman of many words. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take you back. <laughs> I want to I want to go back a little bit down memory lane. I wouldn't be the woman that I am today if it wasn't for this woman right here. 50 years, over 50 some years ago. I thank God for when she went to teach you guys, she would ask me to go with her. And I went with her. She went to teach Sunday school. I would do the review. I loved the word. I was like a little kid in a candy store with my bag ready to receive the candy. I was, I loved the word. I followed her. Oh my God, she teaching in the church 10 days, six, six hours a day. Uh, we, we sit on the teaching on the Reverend Robinson, Mrs. Robinson, but because of her, we learned what we know because of her. Amen. We followed her Amen. wherever she went. And there was teaching. She would call us and say, they having teaching such as a day. Come and go with me. Me and Betty was right there. I thank God for the uh, Sunday School Publishing Board. We, we, we studied, we searched, and we researched. I want you to know that we had to do the lesson, and then we had to get to write our lessons out, and then get someone to type it up for us, and we sent it to the Sunday School Publishing Board to get our certificate to qualify us to teach. Well, God qualified us, but, you know. <laughs> hey, I, I want you to know we went down memory lane so far, so many wonderful things she did. Uh, I, I began to follow her while she spoke, she taught. I was invited to many, many churches to speak, many, many churches to do Sunday school, women, women Day speakers and all of that because of this woman right here. I thank God for her. I wouldn't have been who I am today if it wasn't for her and God, God first, but her. She gave me an opportunity to follow her and to learn. And I thank God for her. I thank God for my pastor sitting there too. They saw something in me that I couldn't see in myself. Ooh, I'm, 
I'm shaking it. I'm shaking in my boots, y'all. <laughs> I thank God for them. I'm a Sunday school superintendent because they saw something in me that I couldn't see in myself. I thank God she taught us how if we was going to teach, uh, if we was going to speak, how to get up. You had time to start and you have a time to sit down. Because I'm going to tell you, if your time run out, the Holy Ghost going to, you gonna, the Holy Ghost going to sit down on you. You see what I'm saying? And, and then you're left sitting there. And when the Holy Ghost sit down, the people going to sit down too. You understand? So she said, start on time and quit on time. I thank God for that. Deacon Davis taught us, say, oh, um, if you were teacher, whatever you are, over oh, anything, Sunday school, whatever, say, if there's nobody there but you, start on time. I want y'all to hear me. Start on time. If your time to start your class at 6 o'clock, be there to start it at 6. If nobody there but you, start that class. Okay? I learned. I learned from my teacher, Pastor, Miss Guy, and... Uh, I'm not gonna. Betty patting me, telling me to shut up. So <laughs> I don't know how long we. I don't know how long we had, but I thank God for this opportunity. I thank God for all of the beautiful classes and the speaking engagement and the teaching. I thank God for Jesus. I just want to thank God for this opportunity to be here today, and thank you. Thank you so much. I have so much more to say, but I don't have the time. So <laughs> hear me at <out> another time. <laughs> to Apostle, Prophetess, my beloved pastor, all the ministers here, but most of all, to my lovely, 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 lovely mother in Christ Jesus. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for my soul cries out, hallelujah. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for you, 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 and you, my soul yet cries out, hallelujah. I love you depth of my heart and I do want to read this scripture because God placed it in my spirit and it's from 2nd Corinthians 4 and 7 but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us earthen vessels these physical bodies that's what we have but guess what guess what the, what the treasury is the treasure is in the heart of man the treasure is in you i praise god for the treasure that's in you that's keeping you that's protecting you when the anointing is on the life of a woman of God like Elder Mary Guy, come on, come on. then you better join up with <laughs> better You in. better get connected because you can learn some things. And I did. Most of you don't know, I'm real, real shy. I'm real, real shy. And don't never want to say anything. But I've learned a lot from her. She taught me to pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. We've had so many times over, over at 1812 Field Street where we would come in on a Wednesday and we would lay prostrate before the Lord to heal directly from it. We still pray every Wednesday. Not as many as it was, but we're praying at 6 a.m. And let me tell you, prayer, prayer, it's what help us to make it through each day. We need prayer. We need to pray for each other. That's what she taught us, to pray for each other. We still have a prayer group. Since February of, of, of 2015, we pray every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. in the morning. 
We pray. We don't have any certain things we pray for. Whatever the Holy Spirit puts on our hearts to pray for, that's what we pray for. God, that's from her. She's a teacher. We had so many classes. We had a CEF class, which stands for Child Evangelism Fellowship. We learned how to do outreach ministry for children. And it was so simple that it was even used for adults because they could understand what you were actually saying to them. So we had the CEF class. Also in that class, that was our introduction to the wordless book. Most of you may not have heard it, but it had the colors. It had the red, it had the yellow, it had the green, it had the black, and it had the white. But we were introduced to, the, to that book where it didn't have words on the pages. So the God-given gifts in you, you had to use them. You had to use them. So this vessel of honor input a lot into us. Not only me, but my family and my extended family. As long as my husband was living, he loved her. Half the guy loved her. When we got ready to go to the married couples retreat, that was another thing. Well, we learned as married couples, they taught us. No, no, you can't give up. You can't give up. You got to stay. You got to stay. You got to stay. You can't go anyplace. And she prayed for my husband. Pray for him up until he departed the life out of his body on April 4th, 2020. But God is still good because the prayers of the saints availeth much. And my strength came from those that were around me and also her, my loving pastor, and my, my one of my prayer partners because there's only three of us left out of the seven that was praying. But we're hanging in there every day. I could be at the airport. It's important. I could be at the airport, running down the ramp, getting my luggage. But when it came to six, because I take early flights to, to get to my mom in Birmingham, Alabama. But we would pray in spite of whatever, whatever I am, whatever I'm doing, we would pray. So I just thank God for this earthen vessel and the treasures that are in her, the giftings that are in her, and she is using them. See, this outward body will perish, but this inner man, this inner man is being strengthened day by day. So I love you, I love you, we love you, and God bless you. Amen, amen, amen. Sister Hicks and Sister Rush, what a mighty word to describe the character of our mother, our elder Mary Guy. You talking about the word integrity? They just describe you. If you want to know how to be a Proverbs 31 woman, you better know Mary Guy, because she will teach us some things. I remember when she was teaching us as teachers to teach the children over at New Bride. Baby, a mama that got some patience for you, mother is it. But she'll give you that look too. You get out of order if you want to. <laughs> Praise God. Now we shall have a selection by the old school choir. Amen. Come on, give them some love. Show them some love. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Thank you, Jesus. The old school choir sounded pretty good. Give them one more hand clap of praise. Show them some love. Amen. Amen. Now, a memory by a special person in Mother Mary Guy's eyes. Very special to her. And guess who that is? Apostle Jonathan Guy. This is not my time. I'm coming up with the sons, but I wanted Apostle and Prophetess Taylor to come in, man. She didn't hear me. Amen. They're going to come very briefly before the sons and the daughters. Amen. Come forward. Can we give God a praise for them? Man, they drove all the way from Chi-Town. Pastor Sherelle, Prophet Darius, and Destiny. Love you. Praise the Lord, saints. Amen. Love you, mother. We give glory and honor to God today, to Apostle Jonathan. We love you, and we love your mother. Amen. And mother, we just decided to come this way on this day. Amen. We are here for family. But we said, we're going to wait till Mother's birthday. And so we came on this special day, Mother. You're so beautiful. <laughs> you are a woman of grace. You are, Mother's your birthday. Stop, 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 stop. stop. <laughs> yes, and she is a woman of God, a woman of the word. Amen. And we just want to say God bless you. Many, many more years, mother. You're going to be well. You're not going to be out of the way at all. Come on, come on. Yes, you're going to do exactly what you want to do. And you have all of the blessings of God upon you. There's a special relationship that you have with God. There's special conversations from heaven, specifically for you, Mother. God said you can ask me anything, anything you want. Glory to God. He knows that you have some prayer requests, and he's going to ask. I don't know your favorite scripture, but I bet the joy of the Lord is your strength. It is, it is my strength. <laughs> and so we love you all. Thank you to all the pastors and the apostle, prophet, evangelist. I'm going to let my husband say something, but I have something to give you. You got it? <laughs> okay, honey. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. We just wanted to uh, show some love. We so apologize that, that we can't stay. Yeah. But we said there's no way we would come this far and not stop in and see the people that we love. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You all, come on. Uh, get, we're here to celebrate. Amen. Amen. We appreciate you, and we appreciate the fact that God chose you to birth somebody into our life. Amen. Yeah. He knows exactly what he's doing in order to bring people together. Amen? If it had been for her obedience, then we would know him. And if we didn't know him, we wouldn't know you. Are, are y'all understanding what I'm saying? And so we came this far to let you know that we appreciate you. We appreciate everything that you're doing. And we just want to encourage you to keep on doing what you're doing. Amen? Because you're not just affecting people here, but you're affecting people in this entire universe. It says, Happy Birthday, Elder Mary Guy. Love, Ernest, Barbara, Sherelle, Tanya, Darius, David, Ernest, and Destiny.
star in the, in the earth realm, mother, and you are a light of the world. A city that sits on the hill that cannot be hid, mother. Amen. So God bless you. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, my God, how precious. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. We love each and every last one of you all. Hallelujah. Come on, give our overseer, apostle, and prophets, and the family a hand clap for taking out their time to love on our elder mother God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Now next is memories, spiritual sons. Memories of the spiritual sons. Are y'all ready? Are you ready to come talk about mother? Amen. Amen. I was just going to call a couple of the brothers up if y'all want to come up and say some words. And uh, Lady Veronica as well. Y'all want to say a few words, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Come on and praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, we can do better than that. We are in the house of God, and I come to give God glory because he's worthy. The Bible says, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is worthy to be praised. I come to magnify the name of the Lord because the name of the Lord is good. Amen. The name of the Lord is great. I come to give him glory because he's worthy. He's worthy. The goodness of the Lord shall follow her all the days of her life amen i have so much to say amen but i'm like mother many i don't have enough time y'all gonna have to bring me back another day amen but i got a chance i saw mother guy on monday and i have to say this amen most of you all know that we lost our aunt amen anna lawrence Please keep us in your prayers. And she was in the house when I got there. I rushed over there after work and she was sitting there, amen. And we all gathered outside and mother guy came out on a cane. I said, oh God, I nearly crowed, amen. This is a running joke in our family, kind of past tense for cry. I nearly crowed. I said, oh God, I want to get on the cane with her. I just got weak, y'all. My, my legs just got weak. Amen. So I'm so glad to see her running around right now. Amen. Sending her hellos. Amen. But as a young woman growing up in New Bride Missionary Baptist Church, amen, she was my spiritual idol. She really was. Amen. I've gleaned so much from her. I remember her pulling me to the side and just encouraging me, just letting me know that God had a calling on my life. Amen. And I was very special and dear. But I mostly remember that she put me and this man on a program together. Amen. And youth awareness. Amen. One, I couldn't stand this boy, okay? I could not stand him. He got on my nerves. I tell this testimony all the time at Whole Truth. Whole Truth knows that. Amen. I bring you greetings from Whole Truth Christian Church. Amen. Well, we are the proud pastors. Amen. And I could not stand him. So, okay. So, anyway, the, the subject was the power of love. And so, they wanted to see two young couples, amen, from Youth Awareness, a male and a female, and they put us together. And I said, oh, Lord, and y'all, I couldn't shake him since then. He was hooked. He was hooked. Amen. I didn't even have to put no bait out there. She did it for me. Amen. Amen. She did it for me. She took care of everything. Amen. But I'm just so appreciative. Amen. For Mother Guy. Amen. Like I said, I could say so much, but she is just a blessing. Amen. She is a wonder all by herself. She's a masterpiece. Amen. And I agree with the woman of God that she can ask God for anything that she wants. Amen. Because she is Jesus' best friend. My cousin always say that. She is Jesus' best friend. Amen. And so she can ask for any. You are his BFF. Amen. You are. I'm telling you. You could get anything that you want from God. You can get anything from me that you want. Amen. But I'm going to let my husband speak. Amen. 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 But cancels everything that has been said previously. 
She said she couldn't stand me, but 31 years later, I got the proof. The Mac was on point, wasn't it? Thank you. Amen. I just want to be real brief. I want to say I cannot ever remember a time in my life that you weren't a blessing to us, even in our childhood. I believe that my mother, the lady Elaine Armstead, was who she was in God because of what you poured into. I watched the things that you said to her. My mother didn't have influence from her sisters or even her own mother, but you took on that role. And because of what you poured into her, I pray that God will give you double for your trouble. Because everything you did that you poured into my mama, she poured into us. And everybody in the family is in ministry, and I think you got something to do with that. So I speak blessings over your life that will overtake you, that your latter be greater than your former. No matter how old you are or how old you feel, God says, I'm not through yet. There's an anointing on your life for young women that when they see you, they'll do right. But I just want to say thank you because even when my mother was taken ill and I saw you not feeling good, you still helped my mother. And I told my wife, I said, whatever Miss God need, we're going to make sure she get. So I want to thank you. I want to thank Jonathan and Londi and Gwen for loaning your mother to us in seasons because we poured on the virtue that was in our life. You were at our house more than you were at your own house. So I thank God for you, and I want to give you your flowers while you can smell them. I love you. Yes, sir. Amen. We're going to have, I'm not going to say the oldest brother because then I'll get in trouble if I say that. But I'm going to bring up Pastor Gary Ayler. Amen. Oh. Well, I'm praising God because truly it is the Lord's doing and it's marvelous in his eyes. I sit there, you all don't know the vibrant Lois that I know. And last Saturday was the first time I saw that cane and it disturbed me when I saw that cane because I'm accustomed of seeing Lois move swiftly. But I love what the tailor said. God's gonna give you long life. And just a moment ago, I prayed for you and I asked God to give you long life. Not laying in a nursing home, blah, blah, blah. No, we want long life and a sound mind. And the most important about that is what you have poured into the body of Christ. Lois, you have poured into the body of Christ like never before. And it's, I'm glad that Jonathan has the ministry going the way it's going. But I'm going to say this. Those of you who are part of Kingdom Ambassadors, y'all got shortchanged because we had her. <laughs> <laughs> who who taught him and I mean when Jonathan was little she was teaching him not bible verses the whole book he'd get up and say a speech was like my god is he gonna quit that's what she did to him she poured the word in him and she prayed for him continuously and I stand here today in joy to be able to stand here because I will be here to next week telling you what this woman has done for me. She is the reason why I'm saved today. She's the reason why I am who I am in ministry today. She prayed for me. Do you hear me? This woman prayed for me. When there was nobody but Jerice 
and me. <laughs> she prayed for me. And I never will forget, there was an issue going on with me. And I was working at Hughes and Hatchers. Most of you younger people don't know nothing about that. That's a department store. And I worked there years. And she said, God, hear this close. God, if you're going to deliver him, let him call me now. I called her. And when I called her, she didn't say hello. She starts screaming in the phone, God, I thank you. You've done it again. When my mother, my biological mother died, she walked up to me and she put her arms around me. She says, I can't be her, but I'm going to be the best mother that you will ever have. She says, I'm going to walk with you and I'm going to talk with you. And let me say this. If you want a friend, that's a friend. I don't see how no one could abuse her and talk down to her and be jealous of her. You know what? When the word works in you, it spews out of you. Two weeks ago, I was a little distressed about our world. Okay? I had forgotten my keys and left them at home. I had to leave work to go home to get the keys because I couldn't get in the office. I decided I'd call her on the way. Whenever we get together and talk, it ain't 10 minutes. It's an hour, hour and a half. Because, see, we're going to go down the whole whole shebang. And I told her, I said, Lois, you know what? I said, I'm sick of this politics. She said, you know, and it, that was the end of it. We went down the politics lane. I mean, we were going at it. We were talking about it. And then she said, well, let me tell you this. I had went home, got my keys back in the car. We still talking politics. This is a friend who will be able to talk anything with you for you and pray you through anything. Lois, I don't have to tell you this. You know it from my heart. I love you. You taught me so much. So when the time come, if you happen to go before me, ain't nothing to be said but servant, well done. I don't know where the rest of them are. I don't even worry about that. I'm here. And that's all I can, can do is I came because I love this woman. And let me say this. I'm going to be honest with you. Everybody in here, new bride, is still together. Does this woman pray? <laughs> this woman pray. And you taught me. And I'm going to say it in a song. And I asked Gwen to help me. And you know I'm going to go way back. All oh, my help, my help, my help comes from the Lord. Oh, all of my help, all of my help, all of my help comes from the Lord. Oh, all of my needs that I Process all of my help, my help, my help comes from the Lord. Come on, everybody should know it by now. All of my help, my help, my help 
comes from the Lord. Oh, 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 oh. All of my help, my help, my help comes from the Lord. Oh, all of my need that I possess. to love message from the Minister's Alliance of K-A-G-N. Amen. Come on, show some love. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Amen. Elder, mother, Mary Guy. I love you so much. You my mama. You my spiritual mama. I tell people that all the time. They be like, what? I say, you don't understand. It's a special relationship. When you know Mother Mary guy, you know somebody. Mother, I was sitting there, and the Holy Spirit had gave me some stuff earlier to say. He said, but tell her first things first. Mother, you are a mother of to the nation. To the nation. To the nation. You have touched around the world. 
God is well pleased with his servant. Hallelujah. You are a woman that had, you're so faithful in spite of the obstacles, in spite of everything that could be coming at you, the pain of everything, but you still remain faithful, faithful servant. You are a five-fold minister with spiritual gifts, and you tap into all of them. When you do those plays, you touch the heart of mankind. God is pleased with you. Your wisdom, the wisdom of God that's inside of you, it pours over to everybody that comes in contact with you. It's so awesome. You are so unique and special. You are a teacher. A te you are a teacher that you will never forget because the way you take your time and teach. You break it down like a love story. Every time you open your mouth to tell us about the good news of Jesus, it's so special. Your support. You that cheerleader that got them batteries, they never, ever die. I don't care who it is that needs support, need to be cheered on. Mother, you there. And we appreciate that. Your hugs are so magnificent, so powerful. Just your hug, your hug just pull the weight off. Elder mother guy, your unconditional love, your support. You are a rock to kingdom ambassadors and to new bride. And anyone that comes in your presence, you are the special diamond that God has designed. You was deep down in the sand, and he snatched you out and made you bright morning star. You are an ego, which is part of elder. The L is for love, the unconditional love you give everywhere you go. The D, you are always developing everyone that comes in contact with you. The E for education, because you always are edifying someone. The R for revival. You always want to revive a soul when it looks like it's about to die. Say, no. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Revive, revive, revive. The M in mother and Mary is for mother, because you're the mother of the nation. The A is for alarm. You're alarming everyone and let them know Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. He's coming quick. Be ready. Be ready. He's alarming you. The R is for rock. You are a solid rock. You set on a solid foundation. The Y in Mary, yes, to his will, to his way. The G in God is for gentleness. Your gentle spirit, but powerful spirit of God. Your you is for upright. Your why is to yield to God's voice at all times. Yes, you are the Proverbs 31 woman. In Jesus' name. Mother, I love you so much. Thank you for being that special diamond that shines so bright around the world. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. through your son 
and even us young ministers. That shows true humility. We appreciate you. <laughs> we appre I appreciate you for being a selfless, caring woman who goes the extra mile. When my dad passed away, you wrote me the long message, comforting me and encouraging me. And I felt like and knew that I could go on because of you. Thank you for that, and you didn't have to do that. Um, I also want to say, as a young minister, I've learned from you how to be fervent in prayer. And absolutely, I absolutely love your teachings because you show your personality. You embrace the unique God-given ability that he's given you. Never caring about looking silly or sounding crazy for our king. And always reminding us that his word is yum, yum, good. <laughs> so happy birthday. And I love you. And this is just a token from the Washington family. Amen. Elder Mother Guy, I just want to let you know that you were the confirmation. You were the deal. You sealed the deal, basically. Um, as I was, you know, attending Bible study and watching Apostle and asking the Lord if I should be a part of this ministry. And um, when he said that, yes, you and your family should be a part of this ministry, I always ask God for confirmation. I'm like, right, give me a sign. Well, hey, make sure so I know that's you. And when I realized that your name was Mary and my mother name is Mary, your birthday is August 25th. Her birthday is August 25th. I just knew that that was the that was the sealing of the deal right there. Like you sealed the deal with that one. So I'm just thankful for that. And also, you just uh, an encourager to me. It's a it's many times that you just came up to me after I said something, after I've done something, and whatever I've done, you just encouraged me every time. You even called me a couple of times just out of the blue. It was nothing that happened. You call like, Brother Richard, I just want to tell you. And I'm like, I, I love Mother God. Like, I don't matter what I feel, what I do, she love it. Like, it's bars. If you would say bars, basically. Anything I do, it's like I can't do wrong. So I was like, I just love that. So you remind me, even though you have the same name and birthday as my mother, you remind me of my grandmother. And I just love my grandmother, that same spirit. And it's just everything. So that's when we connected. We will be connected forever and even after this life. So I love you and I thank you. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Memories from the family. Claudia, James, Gwen, Lonnie, and Apostle. And that's Reese. Uh, good afternoon, church. I'm Claudia. I am uh, Miss Guy's niece. My dad is her baby brother. Uh, we have a family full of mostly men. She has the three girls that makes the majority of the women that are in our family. Um, uh, sister Guy, mother Guy, elder Guy, as you all know her. I know her as Aunt Lois. Has always been a person that was a pillar or an example in our family. Um, she was raised by two wonderful people that also raised me, uh, uh, Deacon Willie Frank Johnson and Big Daddy, Big Daddy, which Therese named him, and, yes, and Willow Mae Johnson, Dada, which Therese named, Therese is the oldest grandchild, so she gets led the whole way. <laughs> she gave them the names, and we all followed behind her. Uh, they gave us Elder Guy. And between the grit of coming from the Deep South to coming here to Detroit and making a life for the family, they had three children. Nate Lewis was the only girl. 
And all my grandmother would tell me those stories about my Aunt Lois, how she was so smart, how she was so ambitious. She said she didn't even have to do anything with her. She said, I never had to ask her to do anything right. She just would do it. She said, the hardest part about it is that they didn't have a lot of money. She said, Aunt Lois would come home every day with a new program or a new group she was in or a new something she had, and they had to come up with money to pay for it. But my grandfather said, well, we got to figure it out, because Lois is smart. And he always said that she was the smartest child he ever had and the smartest person he ever knew. He always told us that. He said, now, my Lois, don't anybody smarter than her. And he said that his father said when she was three years old that she had the sense of mother wit, what they called it. He said she was born with wisdom. And he said that she was going to be smart, smarter than you'd ever know. And obviously, he prophesied over her life because this is very true. So all my life, I just looked up to my aunt. Everything about her, she couldn't do any wrong. She was so pretty and so perfect. And I always just dreamed of being just like her. And I have another uh, cousin that preceded. She's not here. Her name is Andrea. She looked more like Anglois probably than I did. And I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like that. Because everybody always said she looked like Anglois. And I would be so jealous of that. <laughs> because I wanted to be the one that looks like her. But now everybody says that I look like her. So I love her. She's an example. She's a leader. She, of course, her beautiful children, her beautiful family. And she's also helped us. My kids, I have four of them. They, when they have any questions about Jesus, anything they want to buy, I'm calling Aunt Lois. Aunt Lois going to tell me they call with their friends on three ways, and Aunt Lois always takes time out and show them and give them information. She's just a leader. So what you got to see is real. She's that way all the time. I know a lot of you guys know her so well. So she's not pretending. She's really this person. This is her true and true. She's a woman of God. And everything about her is a woman of God. She's loving, she's caring, but she is stern. And she don't play. She don't play. She means what she says, and she does what she says. She gets that from her dad, my granddad. She just like it. And I would always tell people, if my grandfather's not just a deacon here. Don't nothing change when he go home. He's the same man. And this is exactly what my Aunt Lois is. She is. She has a caring and loving spirit like my grandmother, and she'll go the extra mile for you. So I'm just glad to be related to her and us having the same blood run through me that runs through her. And I love you and happy birthday, Aunt Lois. They're running this oldest thing in the ground and put me up here first to speak out of the kids. But I actually think it's kind of good and I thank the Lord because I was sitting there and I'm thinking, hmm, yeah, this is a nice program. And the Lord put it on my mind, what would you say if you were called upon to speak? I put it out of my mind, and then it's Miss Rush sitting next to me, you gonna speak? <laughs> <laughs> Not that I know of, but then they said, okay, kids, come on. <laughs> but I will tell you what the Lord put on my mind, because I kept hearing people talk about that she's my life, my, a mother to me. She's done, done this for me. I remember going when before Gwen and Bonnie and Jonathan, my mom would send me down the street to bring kids to our house for Bible study. Every, I think it was Wednesday, I don't know, but I know I had to go with every last one of them to come. And then after a few weeks of doing this, I noticed that some of the kids would stay a little longer. Then they would start hugging on my mama. <laughs> oh, excuse me? <laughs> this is my mother? And I don't know, you know, the mind plays tricks with you. At this age, I want to say that part of that was because those kids did not have what I had. And along my, as I grew older, we go to, we go to New Bride Baptist Church, and all of a sudden, she got more kids. <laughs> K-A-G-N, we're sitting on Zoom. Hey, hey, this is she, she's like my mother. I'm going, okay. <laughs> and these three, <laughs> This is the other part of the story, because when it was just me, 
I would always ask my mom and dad, I want sisters and brothers. Please have some more sisters and brothers. I did not understand the process. <laughs> but one day, my dad told me, because I had a little kitchen table. It was a kid's size kitchen table with little chairs. And I'm sitting there eating. My mom and dad are sitting there eating. My dad looks over and he says, you know, if you had sisters and brothers, you wouldn't have enough room with that little table. <laughs> he was trying to talk me down. <laughs> he was trying to talk it down. And so I was good with that till I got 14 years old and they called me in and told me. <laughs> My mother was getting ready to have a baby. <laughs> and I'm going just in time for me to be a babysitter. <laughs> And they didn't stop there, then they had me. <laughs> and I'll just tell you this much. Now, the Lord didn't tell me to say this, so I'm gonna go right back on crutch. <laughs> but I would push the kids, I would push, Gwen would be my, by my side and Lonnie would be in the little stroller. And people would look at me as I passed like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> She ain't even got no husband. I didn't even have a boyfriend at the time. So <laughs> and then Jonathan came along as I was entering college. And I'm going, how is this? I'm getting ready to go into college, and here comes this little baby. <laughs> So my entire life has been spent sharing this moment with all of you. But I was blessed to be there with her first. gonna say they were trying to have me first. <laughs> they was trying for a boy, amen, praise the Lord. We'll keep that between, amen. I'm gonna say a little something, Pastor DeGuin. Uh, I, was, I always say I was like one born out of season because they were, I wasn't a mistake, but I was not playing. <laughs> she was 41, my father was 45, and Teddy Pendergrass had a new album come out. <laughs> Here I come. I, can't. I looked it up. All the famous songs that hit in 1979. Click. I said, that's why I'm here. Amen. Praise the Lord. One of the Mary Couples retreats you was talking about. Amen. I don't have no sense. Pray for me. Pray for me. But mama, it's, it's truly a blessing. I always tell people that I was blessed because Every time I came home from school, you were there. Hey, Jonathan. You were happy in the morning. I was not happy in the morning. Still don't get happy in the morning. Not in the military, nothing. I was just mad getting up in the morning. But she would, before I would go to bed at night, she would teach me. I always tell people she taught me in reverse. She taught me all of the, the, the deep things of the Bible when I was a little baby. She told me about Melchizedek. And who tells a baby? I'm three or four years old. Melchizedek, he had no beginning of the days. I was like, what? He had no end of the life. I said, he Jesus. She was just teaching me, dropping deep gems. It's blessed to have that. And right before Pops passed away, my dad passed away, if anybody knew my father, he was the opposite of me. And my, I'm more like my mom. I talk, laugh. You see my dad, he said, yeah, that's me. Walk off. <laughs> if you're keeping up too much racket, he just walk away. Amen. But the last six months of his life, he let me sit in a rocking chair next to his bed and ask him questions. I asked him questions all day, almost like sun up to sundown, just questions. What do you think about this? All about the Bible, all about this. And it was like the finishing of my development before I left to see the world and be developed in the world. I thank you. I still learn from you, Mama. And you live with my wife and I. 
all this so good. She be in there going off on Alexa. Now I know she's saved and sanctified and full of the Holy Ghost. But one day she said, I thought you was artificial intelligence. You stupid. <laughs> My white prophet has called me and said, your mama, she ain't crazy, but something wrong. I said, what you mean? She, called, she going off on somebody in the room. And she said, that's Alexa. I said, mama, that's not a real problem. You make me laugh, you make us laugh every single day. It is not a burden, it is not, I don't care what we have to do, we're not putting you away, you're not gonna go away. And I know for a fact, if she and I were not around, and all your children were not around, you would be in somebody's home, you would be in Pastor A's home. So, somebody would be, look, you're not going out in the streets because you're a mother. And, that, and let me say this to everybody here, and I'm gonna keep it going, because we at the end, we're gonna get to the vittles, amen. But it is not a burden. We don't view it. I know I definitely don't. My wife told me, she said, when I first met you, you told me about your sisters, your mother, your father, and all of New Brad. I just went down the list. So when we got married, she knew many of the names. Oh, the pastor. Well, obviously, he did our wedding. But hey, Miss Rush, hey, Pig, hey, Joe. She knew the names. She said, you told me about all these people. She said, what type of church is that? Yes, sir. And because of that, because of what you and Daddy did, and Pastor Ayla is carrying on in New Bright, right? In Kingdom Ambassadors, I tried to do that. Come on, let's go to eat. Where are we going? Big Boy. My daddy went to Big Boy. <laughs> you finna go to Big Boy. <laughs> amen. Give God a praise, amen, for this mighty woman of God. So, so he gonna say I'm long-winded. He gonna probably snatch the mic from me, but I'm not gonna be but a second. I was really thinking about something to say and then I lost it. I, I had it yesterday in my head and then I lost it. But what I wanna say is, yes, we shared our mom, but guess what? Just like she was to y'all, she was like that for us. And she don't hold no punches. She still don't. She gonna tell you if you right, she gonna tell you if you want. And she gonna say, well, you know, but let me tell you this. You know what I'm saying? And anybody that gets an attitude with that or can't appreciate that, then maybe you need to look in the mirror because, and that's just for real. And I say that because when someone is honest with you about you, you know, something, we don't wanna hear the stuff about us that might not be what we want it to be, but, she shared some stuff, boy, she done called me some stuff and said, you, you know you ain't right. Let me tell you. And I would be sitting on the other phone, like on the other line, like, what, what? Is she really saying this? And then I had to go back. And those words played in my head. And when I became old enough and grown enough to say, you know what, mama was right. And because of the upbringing, she, that had me to say, you know what? Yeah, I get it right. I get it right, you know? And when we get old, I always say, when you get older, you need to be getting wiser. And if you ain't, uh-oh. You know, maybe that's where I got all that from, because I be telling me, like, oh, you know, I, I, well, I'm not as stern as she is, but, uh, <laughs> but, but she has instilled in us a lot. Um, I, I wish I could remember what I said because you would really know where I'm at. But she's not only a mom, she's a friend. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm going through some things, and I'm not a kid, but she'll show, tell me, girl, man, go lock that door. Make sure you lock the door. Make sure your lights off. You don't leave no lights on. You know, she gonna always be mama. And that's what I be trying to tell little Doug. He'd be like, I'm grown. Yep, but you still my kid. You, 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 that's just, that's a mother's love, you know, and a mother's going to do that, and she still does that. But I can still go to my mom at the age I am now and talk to her about things and say, Mom, I need this to be just us. You know what I'm saying? Because she lives in the house with my brother now. You know what I'm saying? We all family. But... <laughs> He over here, he retarded for real, if y'all don't know. <laughs> he retarded for real, okay. But she will, I, I'll say, Ma, I just need this to be right here. 
and she does that for me. You know what I'm saying? And some mamas, I got friends that got mamas that will be going off on you and be calling you stuff in front of her friends and your friends. You know what I'm saying? So I'm blessed with, <laughs> he telling us don't talk about the mamas, right? but, but she's a friend. She's a very, very good friend, and I know a lot of y'all know that out there. So we're not saying anything that y'all don't know, you know, and I'm just blessed that at 87 tomorrow, I can look at you and you shaking your head. I can see you shaking your head. So that's a blessing. That's a blessing, because when you get older, your whole mindset changes about things. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know about y'all, but I know my mindset has changed. You know what I'm saying? You grow up. And you look at your parents growing up. And she, I be like, Ma, I'm walking in front of you down the stairs. She be like, girl, I'm going to fall on you and you ain't going to be able to move. <laughs> nope, I don't even care. I got you. Because I just believe that. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm going to do that. Like he said, we got you, Ma. It don't matter. It don't matter. You're not a burden to any of us. We got you. To the day you, the Lord takes you home, we got you. Okay. And, and we are standing here to let you know how we feel while you can hear us. It's so, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm not trying to be funny, but it's so sad that people can just be here one second and then go on the next. Literally, the, I can't even snap my fingers no more. They getting old. But just like the, the literally the next second they gone, you hearing one thing, and then somebody calling you, telling you they gone. I just lost a friend a couple about a month ago. Kim, 54 years old. She was our age. So we, it don't matter what age you are. So if you got your mama, quit all the talking back. And I already know, because it is some young people in here. That's what we do. As children, that's what we do. But quit talking back. Because when they gone, what you gonna do then? You gonna be tearing up the church and they gonna say, yep, she was the bad one. <laughs> she was the one that kept up all the mess and didn't treat her mama right while she was living. They just gonna, they gonna say it. So just know, I'm just telling you. But treasure your parents. I treasure mine. Ma, I love you. I love you too. Amen. Come on, Kwaki. Blondie is a little hoarse. She wasn't going to speak. She said, I'm going to say a few words just really quick. She is. Her voice is bottom. I love you, Mommy, with all my heart. And that's all I want to say. I just love you so much. God couldn't have gave me a better mother. And I hope you live to be 110 in good health in your mind, and you know, all that, but I love you so much. Come on, give God a praise. We're gonna do it just like this, you guys. We're gonna have the old school, they, they was coming up with names. They wanted to combine old school. It was like New Brad, Kingdom Ambassadors, Ambassadors to Jesus Christ on the side of Zion Hill. It was all different churches came together to sing, amen. They're going to sing us two more times, and we're going to take up a little offering. And for, for my mom, for our mom, excuse me, for our mom, amen. I had a couple of them ready to hit me. That's our mama, too. And then we're going to pray and eat. Is that okay? Yeah. Amen. Come on, old school. Let's get it. Play them some traveling music, Brother John, if they try. So guess what, y'all? Six years old, remember he was called to preach at six? So we're going to get ready to sing this song, Say the Word. And this is a song that we sung at his trial sermon. How many years ago? Oh, almost 40 years ago. So, yep.
whatever I need.